Okay, so I want to document what I was doing when making this uh, this barrel. So I started out with uh, 10 millimeter stock, uh, even though this is going to be for the mini universal extruder, so it's really going to be uh, turned down to 8 and then 6. Um, so first thing I did is cut it to 35 millimeters. I actually cut it exact instead of giving it extra space. I will see if that it was almost as an experiment. We'll see if that was right or not. Um, then use a center drill to place the mark on there, and then drilled in with a uh, 0.5 millimeter drill bit and my jig uh, till it was four millimeters deep, which was pretty far in. Um, and then figured out what, based on the angle of the drill that I'm going to be using, uh, what uh, the angle is for the uh, that's going to go from. I want the angle that goes from the tip down like that to be the same as the angle of the drill bit that's going to be used inside the drill so that there's a solid amount of material on the outside of the cone here. So I think that that right there is going to be it. And this is the four millimeters that the hole went in. So the hole should go past where that cone turns down. So that's good. Uh, so now I'm going to turn this down by uh, just turning and then moving in as I, moving in as I go uh, until I uh, obliterate that hole at the end. And then uh, I'll drill that out again. And then I can turn the six millimeter part down and then turn around and do the eight or all that. We'll see. Joy. For the uh, Rep Rep Universal Mini Extruder. That's what this is for. There you go.